Frugal Tips for Inflation We've all felt the effects of inflation over the last several months, from increased food prices to gas prices skyrocketing and rising housing costs. If you were wondering about the best line of defense to manage your finances during these times, then you should definitely stay tuned to this video. We are here with a list of the top 10 frugal living tips on how to guard your finances against the rising cost of living and how to be more strategic about your spending. So stay tuned because these frugal tips will have you feeling less affected by inflation in no time. Number 10. Shop wisely. In the past, you may have grown accustomed to shopping without a plan, but with inflation on the rise, a lack of preparation is a luxury you can no longer afford. However, it is important now more than ever that you shop with intention rather than making impulsive purchases. Food and grocery shopping is something you can't avoid, so it's critical to figure out how to budget wisely for groceries when prices are rising. Some grocery budgeting tips to help you save money include substituting generic products for brand name items and buying in bulk instead of units. If you live in an area where farmers markets are available, it's best to shop there. We also recommend always having a list with you when you walk into any store. Before your trip, go through your inventory, whether it's groceries, clothing, or household items, and figure out where the real gaps are. Then, purchase only the items you know you'll use and discard the rest. Better yet, do your grocery shopping online. This way, you don't get sucked into the pricey items on the end caps, let alone whatever overpriced treats your kids may insist on. It will also keep you from making impulse purchases while you're browsing the aisles. Number 9. Find ways to reduce your utility bills. Energy prices are a significant driver of inflation. When the cost of various energy sources such as coal, natural gas, heating oil, and electricity rises, so does the cost of producing and transporting consumer goods. These higher prices are then passed on to consumers by the companies that manufacture or transport those goods. It's easy to become accustomed to paying whatever your utility bill balance is each month and never considering ways to save money. But you can save on your utility bills by using less heat or electricity if you are struggling with rising energy costs. You could look into the home energy assistance programs if they are available where you live. You could also budget for higher prices while taking into account how much energy you use at home and looking for ways to reduce costs as much as possible. Some simple ways to save energy include sealing your air leaks around your windows and doors, using energy-saving light bulbs, and unplugging your electronics when not in use. Number 8. Make a Meal Plan the most impact of inflation is felt by people on food. We advise you to make a weekly meal plan as an effective way to keep your grocery bill under control. That way, you're not just buying a long ingredient list and hoping it all comes together. You're getting exactly what you need. Your meal plan also lets you begin preparing ahead of time, and your lunches and dinners are based on the items you purchase. With a meal plan, you can also begin eating more meals at home and brown bagging your lunch. You can potentially reduce your bill even further by making some of those meals plant-based. According to a survey, vegans and vegetarians spend $23 less per week on food than other people. Number 7. Limit Food Waste Making the most of your food and throwing out as little as possible is one of the best frugal living tips to consider if you want to combat inflation. Sure, meal planning will help you automatically limit food waste, but it is also something you should consciously focus on. Make a list of the shelf lives of specific foods, especially produce, and check it frequently to ensure you're using the foods in your fridge before they go bad. Spend 15 minutes each week, if possible, just checking the items in the fridge and their sell-by dates. This will also help you plan your meals for the following week. There are so many creative ways to repurpose and use all of the food you buy, and many of them don't take much time. You could make a broth from scraps and chicken bones for soups and stews, or you could make a smoothie with fruits before they spoil. Finally, make sure to freeze and save anything you don't use immediately for later. Number 6. Lower your transportation expenses. Buying a car has never been more expensive due to inflation, and even more so when you consider filling it with gas. While you can't control the price of oil or the global chip shortage that has caused vehicle prices to skyrocket, 
you can take small steps to save big money while driving. This simply means that you must be more strategic in your transportation choices. While you may have to drive to work every day or drop your children off somewhere, try to limit or consolidate your trips. You can reduce the amount of gas your vehicle consumes by following speed limits, leaving enough space between other vehicles, and accelerating smoothly. Also, you can make use of navigation apps that notify you of traffic delays regularly so you can save some gas by avoiding congestion. Number 5. Use more affordable household items. In difficult financial times, several little changes and comforts you forego can accumulate into significant amounts. For example, many of us enjoy using cleaning products since they perform a lot of the work. However, convenience has a cost, and you might not wind up saving all that much energy in the end. You can fashion cleaning products from items you already use and buy at home rather than spend those few extra dollars. Household items like vinegar and baking soda have several purposes and can be used to clean surfaces instead of harsh chemicals. They are also far more affordable and environmentally friendly than harsh chemicals. You can also save more money by foregoing paper towels and instead keeping rags or dish towels which can be gotten from old clothes or purchased at the dollar store. Number 4. Get rid of any unnecessary subscriptions and fees. If you're looking to cut costs in the face of rising prices, canceling unused subscriptions is a good place to start. An estimate shows that the average household has four to five streaming services and spends $55 per month on them. Although it may not appear to be much, $55 per month adds up to more than $600 per year. If you don't have the time to track down all of your subscriptions, some personal finance apps can help. These apps can connect to your bank and credit card accounts, search for subscriptions you're paying for, and may assist you in canceling them if you decide you don't need or want them. Some apps can even assist you in negotiating better deals on cable, internet, and cell phone services, which can result in additional savings. Number three, reconsider your housing requirements. The cost of a home is by far the most significant single expense for most families. It's no surprise then that it's the logical one to consider first if you want to really cut your budget. Many people enter the home buying market after comparing the basic cost of a mortgage to the cost of renting. They are unaware of all the extra costs that come with being a homeowner. Before making a purchase, consider the significant cost of repairs and renovations, as well as taxes and insurance. If you're already a homeowner, you could consider refinancing your mortgage or shopping around for a better and less expensive deal on homeowner's insurance. Number 2. Open a separate checking account While having a second account may not appear to make much of a difference in terms of saving money, it does. You can prevent unintentionally spending too much money and the late fees and other consequences that come with skipping a bill payment by keeping one account just for spending and another for paying bills. Additionally, a separate spending account lets you see exactly how much money you have available each pay period for things like food, gas, and related costs. You are not deceived by the appearance of more money that may occur when your bill paying money is mingled with your cash spending money. For instance, it can appear that you have thousands of dollars accessible before your rent or mortgage is paid. This delusion could lead you to overspend. But if you have a separate account, you can see how much money you have accessible to you more clearly, which may make you more careful. Number 1. Investing For some, inflation may appear to be the worst time to invest because why should you invest in the stock market when your monthly expenses are rising? But here's a better way to look at it. The primary reason for investing in the first place is to beat inflation by preserving and increasing the purchasing power of your savings over time. There are investments designed specifically to help you beat inflation. Some public companies benefit from inflation because they can raise prices and earn higher profits, which can be passed on to you in the form of dividends. So, if you invest in dividend-paying stocks, you may even be able to supplement your income. From finding ways to reduce your bills to investing, several frugal tips can help you beat inflation. So let us know in the comments if you would rather reduce your bills, invest, or do both to have more money.